Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. It has been one year since Garmin introduced the Zero Bow Sight to the world. We'll sit down with the guys and have a round table discussion about the Garmin Zero. As we look back at the impressive one year anniversary that the Garmin Zero has had. That's to come here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. In today's episode, we are looking back at the incredible year that Garmin has had with the Zero Bow Sight by sitting down with Wade, Clark Winlet, and Michael Wurzig as they reflect on their first impressions, their likes and dislikes, and why it has become such a revolutionary part of bow hunting. But first, let's get reintroduced to the Zero Bow Sight with Garmin's own Rehan Nana. So Garmin Zero is Garmin's new bow sight, and it's this incredible piece of technology that incorporates both range finding technology and bow sight into one. So really in short, uh, instead of having to pick up and, and you know, use a range finder and then you know, figure out distance on your bow sight, it's all in one. It's a compact little unit that goes right on your bow like a typical bow sight. And when you're on draw, there's a button that you press and it actually gives you the range and then drops the pin on a, on, you know, a reticle dot right there to the exact yardage, which is just fantastic in my mind. And what's so nice about it is you're not you know, splitting pins or anything like that. You get the exact yardage, it compensates for angles, and you know, it gives you that precise shooting when you really need it. I actually started shooting recurve when I was younger, and so coming into the compound with the Zero, it was a big change, but it's the, kind of the change that I was looking for. I mean, it was one of those things that I've been shooting it kind of just day in and day out, you know. The thing is, with that Zero, it's a fantastic piece of technology, but you still need to practice. You know, it gives you that precision in aiming when you need it, but you got to do everything up to that point. So I've been ducking out from work, you know, over lunch and getting shots in, knowing we were coming down here and hunting back uh, on my farm and whatnot. And this entire season, every time I use it, it just kind of blows my hair back. You know, it's, it's everything you kind of want in a bow sight. And one of the fun things that I do is just picking random spots and random angles that you'd be shooting from and it's just dead on every time you know what I mean starting at you know going 20 23 27 30 33 you know 35 it gives you that exact pin every single time you know the one of the things that the zero won't do is you know you still have to know deer you still have to practice you still have to be comfortable and most importantly know your limitations you know for me uh, you know, I, I really felt comfortable into that 30 yard mark, uh, especially from the sitting position. And, you know, you just kind of have to draw that line saying, while this site can go out to 100 yards for target, you know, this is where I feel comfortable as a hunter. And that's the limitations that you have to follow. As hunters, we're always trying to make, you know, the most ethical shot. And one of the things you never want to do is lose an animal. You know, if it's deer, if it's birds, if it's anything. And so, one of the things that I, I really love about this is that site helps you in those situations because instead of, you know, having splitting pins and guessing yardage, when you're putting that pin on that animal, it's exactly where it should be. Down here in Texas, uh, there's, there's a lot of deer and uh, there's a lot of eyeballs on you when you're in the stand. And so having that ability not to be, you know, moving with a range finder and then, you know, with your bow is really, really helpful down here. You know, it's just one fluid motion up, range it, let it fly. When we return, we begin the much anticipated round table discussion of the Garmin Zero Bow Sight. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles Garmin Zero Bow Sight. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com.
How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. As we continue to celebrate the anniversary of the Garmin Zero bow sight, Wade, Clark, and Michael all sat down to discuss their reactions to the very first one. You know, you hear all the time, especially in the fishing world, you and I deal with it, innovation, game changers, greatest thing ever. But in the hunting world, you don't hear that term used as much. And, you know, when I look back about, I don't know, it's been almost four years ago, I was at SHOT Show, a guy from Garmin came by with some ideas and some concepts, and then another guy started mentioning, and then the engineers. And the next thing you know, we had the zero in our hands out here for the first time. I mean, I was kind of blown away looking at it, but it was a little intimidating. Yeah, you know, the cool thing about it is, is that it, when you get it dialed in, now it takes some dialing in, you gotta get it right. It, it forces you to shoot a lot because you wanna get that reticle. The reticle is what looks out there and actually puts the pin where you want it to be. So it's actually your range finder. And actually, Michael is, is the one that's taught me the most about it. He, he figured that whole deal out really fast. And it's not that difficult, but you got to understand it. I mean, whenever we got it in that first day, <laughs> I sat down and I like, I read the directions at least four times. I mean, word for word going through it. And it still didn't click. Yeah. But finally, whenever you get it to click and you know we're not like slinging arrows down there four feet off the target, you finally get an understanding of it. I mean, it's like, this is really cool. It's like, well, I mean, then there was nothing for us to go off of. We had never, nobody had ever seen this type of a device before. And, and we're lucky we even got it here. I mean, the true backstory on that is we're out here on a hunting camp and the FedEx lady, it was raining. She didn't want to drive down the muddy road and she wires it to a fence and then you go find it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really even on this ranch. <laughs> it was about five miles down the road and I got lucky and a guy that had it on his gate come down the road and I got it. And, I mean, that was just, that was kind of a crazy day. Uh, we finally got it mounted on the bow. And well, you know, when we, when we finally got it, once again, we had nothing to go with. You know, you go buy a site, normal site, we've all bow hunted for a long time. I mean, collectively, there's 60, 70 years of experience here bow hunting. We know how to set up a site. Well, this here, you know, there's a few directions and a phone number to call the engineer who designed it. And I still remember the first shot. And I mean, I missed the target by like, I don't know, 40 yards. And before we were done, I shot eight times and Michael was like, well, I don't ever have to buy arrows again because they're all over the place out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, they're still down there too. <laughs> because, it, you know, our perception to this site was you squeeze the, the trigger on there and a red dot comes up. Well. I didn't know that that red dot was the range of deal. And then you let off and then your pin comes up. Never seen one before and Clark's back here laughing at me. Yeah, and you, you got the first one and you made it work with that first hunt. Killed a, it was a 12 point. I mean, it, it was a beautiful deer. Um, you know, what I remember about that whole thing is, is that the, the thing about it is, is that that was a prototype. We, they, it wasn't like they were coming out and fine tuned yet. So we were getting the first ones yep and you two figured it out and got that thing dialed in and then killed a great deer. So that was pretty cool. I think we shot like 80 times that night. Yeah, I mean, we shot a bunch and then, you know, I think we had to do an update or something for the engineer. Yeah. It was on and we were good to go. Well, the coolest thing about the update, I, I, you know, the guy's like, hey, I just sent you an email to update your site. And I'm thinking, huh? <laughs> you know, and so all of these changes they've done to the site, they literally can put it on the Garmin website and you plug your site in. So if there's any bugs, any changes, any cool additions, it, it just, it's, it's like updating your phone. Yeah, it's, it's like your phone or, you know, like for me and you, when we're doing it on our boat, on our boats with our yeah. electronics, we, we, you know, they change pan optics or they change some kind of feature in there. We change them all the time. So you got to get used to that part of it, but it does give you those little added extras. Deer Gear is brought to you by HiViz. See what you've been missing. 10 point crossbows. Perfection lives here. Walkers. Protect it or lose it. Wiley X. Absolute premium protection. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. 
with a compact chassis perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine and next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. For those with an insatiable desire to pursue all Mother Nature has to offer, Thompson Center delivers the ultimate in versatility with the interchangeable TC Encore Pro Hunter, giving shooters over 50 configurations including handgun, rifle, shotgun, and muzzleloader. The TC Encore Pro Hunter, one gun to chase all your dreams. Garmin's a leader in technology. I mean, when you look at everything from driving to navigation to our sites and other, many other devices, they've got devices that they're always tweaking and making better. And that's the thing about the site. Every time there's been something in this field testing period, we're one year into the Garmin Zero being in our hands, literally from the time we were here last year. And when we find new things and provide feedback, they give them to us. But yeah, that that first hunt, you know, 80 arrows, because like I said, the first eight, we you know didn't even have a clue. And then once we had the aha moment, it was like, you let that off and then there's the pin. And it was, it was magic after that. Yeah, and I, I mean, I've started grouping really well, but it took a little bit of time because there is an extra step in there. When you draw back, you're gonna squeeze the trigger, you're gonna see how far it is, then it's gonna put your pin. It's seamless to me now. I'm not, it doesn't take any extra. I, I can do it every single time. Um, I think the range finder is extremely accurate. It's the same every single time. I always look up there at what my range is saying and make sure I've checked it numerous times. Yeah. I know it's good. And so all that part is good. Now, one thing that we, you know, Michael and you and I have talked about quite a bit is, is you've got to adjust the brightness of that, of that pin that's in there. And it's real easy. There's just a toggle. You can go, you know, lower or higher, but however bright it is outside, you got to have that bright for your reticle and for your pin. Yeah, and I mean, once you kind of get used to it, you shot in a bunch of different kind of settings and you know your light settings, I mean, you don't even have to look at it really. You just yeah. hit that button about four or five times, yep. get it where you want to, draw back and you're good to go. Yeah, you've learned everything through there. And the, and the process mechanically to me is very similar to a traditional sight, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing that's different about it is it's adding about five to seven seconds when you pull the bow back to range and target. Yeah. That's the only thing you gotta get used to. And I mean, once you've got that, you're golden. You're golden. And, you know, from, from the setup process, now that we're a year into this, you know, I look at ATA, it was the most incredible buzz I've ever seen of a product release out there. People were running to the Garmin booth, there were things going on all over, riders were wanting to know more, there was riders conferences that actually you and I were a part of down on that at our camp, and you know, and there's all of this buzz about it, but it's still hard for people to set up because it is so different out there. And you've learned a lot of tips, and you've actually taught me and Clark a lot of tips in there, but the process when you get that sight out of the out of the box and you start putting it on is just different. It, it totally is. I mean, once again, you just go back to reading those directions and it just takes a little bit to click. But yep. once it does, I mean, it's relatively simple once you get the whole idea and the concept down. It's just getting that down. I mean, you're pretty, a guy known for this is your you you want to stay between the lines you have your patterns you like what you like and you know but in the last month and a half you've really gravitated towards this side talk about your experience yeah i mean i'm, I'm old school you know i mean you just mentioned that i, I like the things that i've done and for done it for a long time i do it in fishing and i do it in hunting too the great thing about this site is is that when you draw back the way the reticle is there's a there's a you know a red dot that's right in the middle of a green circle and when I put, you know, I got all my anchor points, I anchor all the way back, I've got my nose touching my string, and when I get all that together, I've learned that it's made me a better shooter because what happens is, is if that dot's not right in there, well then I'm torquing the bow or I'm doing something a little bit funny. But when you do it over and over again and you know that, that you come back and you just see that dot right in there, well it gives you confidence because you know everything's right before you let that arrow go. 
you're dialed in. I've, I've laughed at a lot of the comments that I look at on YouTube or I've gotten on Facebook or questions at different trade shows. Oh, this makes hunting obsolete. You're just, it's not even bow hunting anymore. I shoot more with this sight than I've ever shot before because I've learned that it's telling me, like you said, when I'm doing things wrong. You know, when that dot in that circle is, is not communicating together, my form is off and I want my form to be perfect in those situations. And it even gives you feedback within the site, you know, that you were torqued one or two, three, four degrees off to the side. I mean, it's just a very intuitive uh, piece of equipment. Yeah, I mean, I think your comment to me quite a few times when you were really getting dialed in for your early season hunts this year was, is this site is way smarter than I ever thought about me. I mean, it's like, I mean, it knows everything I'm doing, and but it gives you that feedback. And to me, once you start doing it and getting it right, then that just gives you confidence. Well, we we both know from fishing and golf or anything we do, the more confidence you have, the better you're gonna be. Deer Gear is brought to you by Conquest Sense, Hunting and Dog Sense, Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors. Stealth Cam, proven. Feed your need for speed. The Nitro XRT unleashes speeds up to 470 feet per second, producing 25% flatter aero trajectory, resulting in knock breaking accuracy and unprecedented knockdown power. The world has never seen a crossbow this fast, accurate, and compact. The Nitro XRT from 10 Point. All episode, we have been talking about how innovative and revolutionary the Garmin Zero bow sight is. But don't just take our word for it. Let's see what Jason Christie has to say about it. You know, we have a new sight by Garmin. It's the, the Zero sight, and like I said, I've been fortunate. This is my second full year to use it. And, and what's really cool about it is, in, in archery and bow hunting, kind of the X factor has always been the judgment of the yardage. You know, you had a pin for 20 and a pit pin for 30 and a pin for 40, well those those shots were easy. Uh, it was that 25, that 35, that 42 where you really just didn't know how to judge. And you know guys like me, the more experienced hunters, I feel like you know they probably know and they're used to it, but you know people coming into it, uh, this new site, you know say your target, whether it be a deer, elk or whatever, whenever it, it appears out there, you know you just, you have a little button here. And it's a built-in rangefinder is what it is. You know, and you just point at your target and you're gonna have a little old green circle that'll illuminate in that glass. And it tells you the yardage. I mean, like right there at 26 yards. And it draws that pin for that specific yard. Um, so that, that's not a, a 20 yard pin, I'm not having to judge. That's a 26 yard pin. And for me, it's just made me a real accurate hunter because it takes that, that air of judging out of play. Let's get back to the discussion as the guys wrap up their final thoughts on the Garmin Zero. What are a couple things, because you've done a lot of mechanical adjustments on sites. You've moved them left, right, up, down. I mean, what are the biggest things that you're seeing straight out of the box that a person outside of making sure that everything is lined up on the circle and the dot to get it to the first basic step? I mean, you get it out of the box and I mean, your first step really is, I mean, you kind of want to, what I do is I look at my old site and kind of get an idea of where the angles on everything was. Right. And then I'll shoot it at 20 yards. And then once you get it on at 20 yards, I mean, that's all mechanical. I mean, that's just like sighting in any other boat. Right. That's just mechanical. After that, it's all electronic. And then the only part you have after that is just getting that reticle lined up. Yeah. And the only tip on that is, I mean, the, the adjustments on that are just so minute. Yes. It, it's, yeah. 
like half a hash when you're looking. That's where having a buddy to help you kind of plays a big role. That's what one thing we've actually kind of learned on here because you're shooting a lot and the person shooting wants to keep shooting in there. And if you've got a buddy like what we've used Michael for a lot of times to help set up bows to make just a minor adjustment. And when we talk about that minor adjustment, it's following those arrows mm -hmm. to get that red dot in there. And that's once again where the brightness plays a big role. You know, if you're having trouble seeing those arrows or that circle, adjust that brightness in there. And like you said, it's just the toggling left or right of a couple of switches. It's real, it's real, real easy. And when I look at that site and where it's gonna help me, now that I've, I've shot it so many times, I'm getting a lot of repetition. I feel like if I was going on any kind of hunt where the animal had a chance to move from, you know, like when I see him, he's walking, angling towards mm -hmm. me. And like, you think you know your ranges, but all of a sudden he's 25 and then he's 15. I mean, I, I'm that quick to shoot him. Or if I was gonna go on a pronghorn or a mule deer hunt where I, I'm stalking and moving up on an animal and I have no idea how far he is, I kind of move out from behind a bush, I, I can range him as I shoot. Everything's really seamless. I mean, I think it's going to be the greatest game changer for those kind of hunts that you could possibly have. There's no gap shooting. There's no guessing. And, you know, that's where you hear people, well, I thought he was 35. So I just held between my 40 and my 30. Man, that's hard. I'm not concentrating when I do that. I'm just kind of, I look like I'm there and you fling the arrow. But this way here, you know you've got some pretty confidence of what you've, what you've set up and, and where you're dialed in. And, and, and you still have to hunt. This is, you know, this is your combination of a rangefinder and a sight. It doesn't draw the bow for you. It doesn't pick the deer stand for you. It doesn't hold steady. It can't control buck fever or any other type of fever you're gonna get while you're out there hunting. You have to practice with this. You gotta set it up and you gotta hunt. Yeah, I just think it's one of those things that has the ability to do a lot for you in those situations. You know, where we hunt in Texas, you and I, a lot of times our shots are just gonna be, we might have a 15 yard, we're a lot in tight places, 15 to 25 yards is that, that's just our shot. Well, th the sight works really great there too. Yep. But the ones that I've always thought, man, what do I do in this situation? It's when a deer's angling by, he's chasing a yep. doe. Yep. I mean, I see him coming, I range, I don't even know how far he's gonna be. So I, I draw, I actually get on him, I range him and pull the trigger that fast. And that's the ones that it's really gonna make such a huge difference on. And if you think about hunting situations, you run into those situations all the time. Yeah, you do. And I mean, the other cool thing that, I mean, you don't even really think about is this site, it's got fixed pins options too. Yes. I mean, you can range that deer, or you know, if you have like a piece of grass that sometimes will affect the range, well, you just hit your fixed pin and you can drop down your 15, 25, and 35 yard pins. Yeah, you're ready to shoot. Yeah, great point. I mean, you can adjust all that at a time. Other thing about it is that there's some ethics built into this site that I like. You know, a guy can't just go guess and starts flinging arrows at 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 yards out there. You have to actually calibrate this sight to be able to do those things. You, you have to go and shoot them and get the shots in there. It'd ask you, did you hit the target? Yes or no? Were you high? Were you low? You tell it how many inches, so it makes you do that every time that you go out. And, and, and it'll only give you one yard past the most recent or last pin that you've calibrated. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a great thing. Yes. It, it just keeps you from trying to sling an arrow out there at 55 yeah. when you only shot at 45. Yeah, you're not, you know, so it, once again, it's making you practice. It's making you spend the time out there. You can say multiple profiles for target shooters, people that are, you know, shooting big, heavier arrows versus lighter ones at different times. And another cool thing is it actually, you know, so you, if you think about it when, you, when you're ranging and you let it off and it gives you the red dot or, or whatever color your pin's gonna be, and it'll be in, inside that circle. Well, if it's too close or a very short distance, you think, well, it's gonna be at the top. Well, this actually adjusts and puts it in the middle. It calibrates for you on those very high angle, very difficult shots. So, I mean, there's just a lot of engineering math that's out of my level that made me call it a game changer and the most innovative product, basically, that I've ever seen in the hunting world. Thanks for watching. To learn more about the revolutionary Garmin Zero bow sight, head on over to Garmin.com. That will do it for us here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We'll see you next time. Protect it or lose it.
Protect it or lose it. Protect it or lose it. Protect it or lose it. Protect it or lose it. Protect it or lose it. For precise prescription eyewear, Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing but precise. Because precision is everything. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. It smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. Nobody likes crawling, creepy, or flying bugs. So ward them off with Sawyer Permethrin. It's more than a repellent. This odorless spray repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. I came back from Afghanistan with a traumatic brain injury. I couldn't talk. I still can't talk right. I didn't want to leave the house. Then my wife, God bless her, she got me off the couch and said, hey, enough's enough. You gotta get back outdoors. The hunting gave me a whole new purpose, you know. It sped up my recovery big time. When I was deployed, I trusted Treasure Con, and I still do today. Sergeant Rob Gustafson, U.S. Army retired. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions.